Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to set up your clone and the traits with it. First thing, you're gonna open up Blender, go on General. Uh, before I do anything, I just wanna say that there might be better ways to do this and easier ways to do this. I've seen the official artifact uh, tutorial and it's kind of different. That didn't work for me and I found this little workaround. If the other method didn't work for you, you can try this. So. Before I do anything, I want to enable my screencast keys. You don't have to do this. This is just for you to see my keystrokes when I press them. All right. If you've never used Blender, this is how you navigate around. So if you press the middle mouse, you can rotate. If you click shift and the middle mouse, you can move around. And if you scroll up and down, you can zoom in and out. So let's begin. First thing we're going to do is press A to select all and then X to delete. Then you're going to load in your character by clicking file, append. Look for your clone X files. Uh, start with the character. Go on female, blender, character, object, select all, append. Now we successfully have our character loaded in. First thing I'm going to do is go on this rig and name it main rig because every trade we import, it, it's going to have its own rig. And the goal is to link all the traits to this rig or this armature. We're just going to repeat this pro process for the other traits so file append look for your traits let's start with the hair go on female blender hair object select all append to view everything in color you're gonna want to press this this is the viewport shading here you can see everything in color and if you press this it's the render mode you're gonna see everything rendered so let's go back to the viewport shading the hair ha has its own armature and the body has its own armature uh, if you click the armature and go on object data properties viewport shading and then click in front you're gonna see through the character and see their armature in front so the problem we have now is if we go on pose mode and select the bone click R to rotate and move around the leg you're gonna see there's another armature below it so if we move around the head you're gonna see the hair is moving with it because it has its own armature now what I want to do is unlink the hair to its armature and link it to the armature of the body so I'm gonna go back on object mode I'm gonna hide this for now uh, the way I'm gonna do this is click the hair go on the modifier tab go on object and select the main rig next thing you're gonna do is click alt P to clear the link between the hair and the armature but you want to keep the transformation so you're gonna click this one now you can delete the second armature before clicking x to delete make sure you're on the right armature because if i keep clicking this it's gonna also select the main rig so keep clicking until you find the second armature click x to delete and then delete now you want to link the hair to the body's armature Make sure to select the trait first and the armature second. You gotta shift, select the armature, click Control P and click Object, keep transform. Now, if I click the armature, make it visible, go on pose mode and move the head around, you're gonna see that it's gonna move with the hair. So I'm going to deselect this for now and you're going to basically repeat this process until you have all your traits loaded in.
I'll do a time lapse. I just realized something. I had a problem with the eyes whenever I tried to delete the armature of the eyes. The eyes got deleted too, like they just disappeared. Now I figured out why the, this was happening. So let's import the eyes again. And if we go ahead and do the same thing, like choose the same rig, click Control P to clear the parent. And now if I try to delete the rig, it's gonna, the eyes are gonna disappear. So I'm gonna click Control Z. Uh, the reason why this is happening is uh, we have two layers right here. One is the glare and the other is the other one. Like if you keep clicking, these circles are gonna get a little smaller and these are the actual eyes. You gotta do the same process for both of them. Like click the glare, control P, clear parent, and then click the eyes, control P, click, uh, clear parent. And now you can delete the armature without the eyes disappearing. All right. Okay, so now I have added all the traits and next thing I'm gonna do is the textures, like the face, tone and color. So I have a human DNA, so I'm gonna do that, but I'm also gonna do the robot uh, DNA, but it's gonna be the same for every other one. So just follow along the next tutorials and let me know if you had any questions. I'm new to YouTube, so I might've missed something or just anything you want, just write it in the comments. I'll try to help every single one of you. Good luck and have fun creating.